Hi, my name is Neil Rowland. I'm a senior project manager here at ATS, Life Sciences Division. I'm a senior PM working on CapEx projects. The Symphony cell behind me is a part of a Titan assembly line that the customer asked us to produce to make about 40 to 50 devices per minute. The Symphony cell is basically the front end of the line. It's producing a, a small sub-assembly that goes into the final part. It saves a big footprint. If we were to do this assembly as part of the main line, it would take up a lot more space. The Symphony is very good at high volume assembly. So ATS has developed the whole line basically from start to finish. The customer's been fully engaged all along since day one. They were step in step with us from the apps phase right through to, to the project kickoff. So let's head over to the Symphony line here. So the first station here, station 10, is where the cylinders get loaded. They get loaded into the dial from the feeder in a two up configuration, picked by the robot arm and put onto the pallet where they're getting ready to move to the second station. It's easy to integrate front end, uh, third party feeders, etc., to feed parts into the line. The second part to get added to this sub-assembly is uh, an O-ring, a pair of O-rings that get installed onto each cylinder. This could be a bowl feeder, it could be a flex feeder, in this case it's a bowl feeder. These O-rings get fed into another dial, uh, again in a two-up configuration. The first station, we install the O-ring on the bottom of the cylinder, and in the second station here, a robot arm installs the O-ring onto the top groove of the cylinder. So with the Symphony HMI here, very easy to change the rate, just a matter of selecting uh, from machine settings machine rate, selecting the rate, which can be adjusted via an input on the keypad or just adjusting the slider to where you need the rate to be. Very easy, simple to do. This adjustment on the fly allows you to, with minimal interruption, uh, troubleshoot assembly issues if you happen to have issues with the parts uh, or some other assembly issue. The thing that makes the Symphony so good at this is the simplicity that robot arms, once it's set up, very good at high speed automation. You are able to change part types, so it's not restricted to a single part type only, uh, but very efficient from a space and a speed standpoint. The third station here is a vision station where we, where we do a check to make sure that there's an O-ring present on the cylinder. This is a quality check to ensure that we have an O-ring both on the top and bottom of the cylinders. Again, checking in a, checking in a two-up configuration. The other thing that this vision system checks is to ensure that the cylinder is facing with the open side up so that when it's fed out of the machine it's uh it's fed into the tray and in the proper configuration the fourth station is the reject station any parts that are not correctly oriented with the open side up or with two o-rings installed will get rejected into uh into the reject bin down below and that reject is documented just to make sure that it was in fact rejected before moving on to the next station so let's go take a look at the last station so here, station four is the outfeed conveyor. We, we outfeed off of the dial in a two-up configuration onto a puck conveyor that allows us to convey the finished part out to a tray handler and, and populate trays for use on the subsequent cell. Alongside that, the last station, the last functional station of this symphony cell is a, an empty nest check just to make sure that the nest is empty before we bring it around to the dial on the far side and try to load to it again. This Symphony machine behind me is part of the front end of the Titan high volume line. Allowed us in, in a compact solution that's cost effective and easy to run and maintain. Allowed us to feed another assembly line efficiently and pump out a product that's eventually going to, to go out and save lives. That's part of what we do here at ATS and part of the benefit of working here, knowing that we're working to make product like that to help people.